style mic. Hey. That looks good. I like that. Hey guys, bit. this mm -hmm. is Seven. You're here live from Fan Fair. That's right. Fan Fair. The Fan Fair. The <laughs> yeah. The one and only. The one and only. <laughs> and we're here with Mike Lilly. How yes. You doing? How you doing there? How you doing, guys? This has been yeah. a very long two days. Yeah, I was surprised. In a positive way. I was surprised. Like, Guys, it's the first high school show I've done. Like, you know, oh, really? uh, I did one, well, I don't know if they call it a high school show. I did one in upstate New York. Okay. And it was run by their comic club. Okay. But um, I guess you could say technically for being here local, I live in Queens. It's the okay. first time I've done a show at a high school run by the high school kids. And uh, it's fantastic. I love it. They're great, aren't they? Yeah, uh, very talented. Uh, as you can see, just walking around the uh, your hallways. <laughs> stress to people. Yeah. We're in the commas room. Okay. In the, in the place. Uh, I, mean, uh, it, I mean, you've been in, in the gym. Yeah, the gym, and it's, yeah, it's, it's in, nothing but like rows and rows of, of talent. With yeah. Stickers and, yeah. and illustrations. Made a yeah. Video game. And oh yeah, that's well, that's what I love about I'm it. It's like, not just comics. You got right. video games. You got animators. You got right. straight up illustrators. Right. Uh, uh, game designers too. So that's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. And they have they have. The tools that like nobody had. I yeah. mean, Neil Adams came from the school. Yeah, the great Neil Adams. Yeah, the legendary. Great, yeah, yes. yeah. And there are tons of other people. That oh yeah, I, I even looked. Well, one of my mentors is Carmen Infantino, and he's one of uh, the big he, alumni. He went here too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he studied. Well, he taught at SVA. That's where I studied. Okay. And he was a big influence. I mean, really a big influence on how I got to do this. Wow. He inspired me in the comics, and I was lucky enough to take classes so with him. At what age yeah. you said, I want to create? Oh, wow. It was, and, and spend the rest of my life creating. It was later for me. I mean, well, I don't know if you consider later when, like, 1920, but when I was a kid, I wanted to, you know, be a veterinarian. Okay. <laughs> and then I collected comics, <laughs> and then I kind of got out of that. And then I said, well, okay, I wanted to play baseball. That didn't work out. <laughs> and you're, you're Puerto Rican and Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you are technically Dr. Mc... Dr. Mc, uh, Mc McNuffin? Mc, yeah. what's McStuffin? That's, that's, McStuffin. What's the name <laughs> of that character? But Is that's it, you. That's me. Um, yeah. In a, in, <laughs> from an alternate dimension. Wow. And then you yep. said, hey, uh, 19, what was the... Oh, okay. Well, I got out of doing comics. You know, just, okay. I thought I would be, like I said, a veterinarian. Then I wanted to play baseball. And I played a little bit in college. And then, you know, wasn't good enough. And uh, I took, I went to, I took anthropology classes. I thought, oh... I love history, I love anthropology. Right. Let me let me see if I can steer myself here. My roommate in school right. collected comics. I was like, oh man, these are cool. Right. So this is like early 90s. And I'm like, man, it looks great. I was looking at Jim Lee stuff, Rob Life, uh, and it you know, inspired me. I was like, I wanna do this. And I always drew, I still drew a little bit on the side, right. you know, little superhero characters. So I switched schools, I went to School of Visual Arts, mm -hmm. and that's where I took class with Carmen Infantino, one of the big alumni from wow. uh, art and design. And so he taught me storytelling and, and a bunch of other people in our class. So uh, it inspired me. And then there I met Rich Buckler and he was another one of my mentors. And I started just going to conventions wow. like this, bring my portfolio around and getting feedback. And sometimes, you know, they tear you apart, but you got to take, you have thick skin. All the artists I try to tell here, you got to have thick skin right. because you're going to get criticized. Not everybody's going to like it. It doesn't matter how good you are. It's going to be one guy doesn't like it, so you got to be able to take it. And that might, that might be the one writing the checks. So right, you, you got to be able to take it and, and, and learn from it, too. Right. Whatever critiques that I got, I tried to learn from it. And then uh, one day, I had a small publisher gave me a chance on a, a pinup, and then another, I built that to another publisher for a story. And then uh, I went to San Diego. I met Bob Shrek, one of the great editors in comics, and uh, he gave me a chance working on Green Lantern. Just a short story to start, right. yeah. but th that's, that kind of got the ball rolling. That was in the late 90s is when I, you can say, you technically. Now, were you a of Green Lantern? Yeah, when I was a kid. kid. Yeah, I loved it. And, and as older, too. Like so, I said, I, I collected, too. So yeah. what is that feeling like? And, and it's I, a little, I'd like to ask this question yeah, it's, because you know, how do you go from I love this all my life the and first, now you're working on it? The first thing is you're like, I want to, I got to draw like those great artists. You know what right, I mean? I was like, right. oh, my God, how am I going to draw just like, you know, the, 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 the great DC comic artists? So. Uh, it's a little intimidating. That's basically what I'm getting at. Right. So you feel a little nervous. You, I, you, you stare at the blank page. That's that's the. You got the <laughs> script and you got a blank page. They gave me a shot. Oh, what man. the f do I do now? <laughs> so what you do? You got to just oh, remember man. the stuff for Carmine told you. Work out the sketches. Let's do the layouts. Let's get our reference right. together. Let's start telling a story. And then you know, and then you got a deadline. And I didn't want to miss that deadline. And I, 
that morning I still had one more page to go. Wow. And I thought, should I just bring in nine? It was 10 pages. Should I bring in nine? No. He trusted me with the, my right. first gig, so I got up 7 o'clock and worked to like about 3. And, I, and it was in New York, thank God. And I got on the train and I ran over to DC's offices and I dropped it off. And he liked it. So mission now, accomplished. Now, you worked on DC and yeah. On Marvel. Yeah, yeah. How do you, I mean, is that, a, is that the norm? Yeah. To have I mean, the opportunity to go when back you're and freelance. forth? Yeah, when you're freelance, you, okay. you, uh, you know, you just go where they, they hire you. Unless they give you an exclusive. Okay. Some people will get hired um, exclusively. They can't work for anybody oh, just wow. for the company. And, you, know, you know, you work out the compensation. But right, right. it's the same thing. It's, it's a story. The editor needs it at a certain time. Right. Um, there's no, I don't want to say any major dynamic because both companies have used artists and editors have worked for right. both. So... They're they're run pretty much the same, in okay. in my opinion. Okay. You know, I mean, any kind of back, uh, you know, behind the scenes, I'm not sure. But in the front, when you're dealing with the editor, it's they're the same. There's nothing, you know, different. I mean, you, I made more friends at DC because I did more work there. Okay. So I learned, uh, you know, not I got that they're the, nicer. You, you know, well, no, yeah, that's the thing is, that, <laughs> or, the, hey, the editors are nice to you as long as you right. as long as you hit the deadline. Everybody oh, loves you. Everybody loves you. I love it. <laughs> or, and and if and if there is a little extra time, right? And and you're a little late, it's okay as long as you get okay. it in, in whatever that time they need it. Okay. They're happy with you. That's the okay. bottom line. That's, that's like the any line. other job, the boss needs it, needs that report by tomorrow. That's your deadline. Now, what are the yeah. indie companies that you've worked with? Uh. Zenoscope was, you know, doing mostly covers for them. Um, I did stuff for Kingstone Comics. They uh, they do a lot of religious comic books. Um, they're independent. They're, I believe that's a, a privately owned company. Um, I did stuff for, well, they're not independent. I did stuff for Simon & Schuster, um, Scholastic. Um, I think for those small indies, um, I tried to, it was mostly, mostly with Zenoscope. It was for independent books is where I did uh, most of my work. You know. What's the difference between an indie working with an indie, com indie company yeah. and a, you know, quote, the major, quote, yeah, the, major, the company, major label, yeah. well, you know, compensation. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, I, it. that's, yeah, that's the, the bottom line. Um, yeah. well, uh, the, with the indie guys, they'll give you a little more flexibility in how maybe you can stylize their characters a little bit more. I did a detective comics for DC and I had redid, why should they redid? I just did my own version of Batman's costume. I didn't, it wasn't like a crazy version, but they printed it. They, it was fine, but they told me, hey, you got to be stick to more of the brand look. Okay. So with an indie company, they might you have a little more freedom. Okay. You might be able to reinterpret their characters. Again, as long as they, it looks good and it's something that, oh, maybe they'll start using your design wow. for the next artist. So that more, a little more freedom. Still got the deadline. Right. A little more freedom and compensation is there. But, you know, there's some independents that do pay close to rates, so... You got to seek them out and, wow. and 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 work your way up in their companies too. Now, do you yeah. have any independent your oh your oh versa. yeah versa. I well okay. I I'm working on something with my son. Okay, it's called the Man Mountain, and okay. uh, it's a, a like an Earth Elemental where this young boy is a uh, like you could say an amateur geologist, and he loves studying you know soils and rocks and tectonic plates. Well, now he's 14, but we've been working on this since he was like nine or 10. Oh, wow. And uh, he, he used to draw, but he, he draws now. He, he goes to engineering school, one of the high schools, um, Brooklyn okay. Tech, if you know. Okay. And uh, so we're going to try to uh, develop that. And we like to do strange science stories, like uh, now, how, how does that feel working with your son? That's, 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 that's the love. You got, I yeah. love it. I love that. This too much, you know. That's but, uh, but he has some great ideas. So, you know, I think he has better ideas than me. So I was like, great. <laughs> the son, son, help me out here. <laughs> I won't tell the boss. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, but it's, it's, uh, we have a great time, and we have a lot of fun going back and forth. He will draw something, I'll draw something. Wow. And then we will write down stories. We, he loves strange science, and I love that too. So we're, we're looking into, into doing, like, illustrating stories based on weird phenomenon put it that way so okay. like we're gonna have our man mountain story that earth elemental monster right and then we're gonna have backup stories with some kind of weird science basically what, what, um if you had to look at what you want the next five years to be oh, like boy. creatively whether it's like a project you want to work yeah. on or say magically you would love to create something that does blank, you know, fill yeah i would say you know if we can get this book with my son you know off the ground and license it for a cartoon show a toy a toy line would be would be lovely wow, yeah. <laughs> um and i would love to do a movie whether it's like with the director i'm working with now or with you know 
the pinnacle would be with my son. Like if we get if this got out there and it was a movie and people liked right. it, right. that that would say that would be the top. Obviously awesome. the top. You know. So now if people want to ask you questions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, stalking. Yes. Be a fan. Yes. Just don't. You know. <laughs> we, 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 we don't stand out. <laughs> don't stand outside my window with a or with a drone. <laughs> don't use a drone by the window. Wow. Um, These days, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can find me on Facebook, okay. Mike Lilly Art, uh, Instagram and Twitter. That's where I hang out. The three. You know. Well, yeah. keep us posted. Oh yes. Anything you're coming out with, let us know and we'll promote it. Put it through the Seth Network. I appreciate. Or a network it. Of Yes, uh, I'm try, one too. And, I collect. Trying to, trying to, I still buy toys. I haven't grown up yet. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to do a better job yeah. of building, building bridges and bringing the community together. Awesome. Everyone's all over the place. Yeah. So with technology, yeah. you know, you don't have to be. We don't have I could to talk be to an artist in Spain, and he can help yeah. me do something. Well, the director I'm working with now, he's in Australia. So there you go. That's so we awesome. we go back and forth. You know. Well, you heard Michael. it here first. <laughs> Mike Lilly, representing being creative. And he's nurturing a new generation. Hopefully. Just happens to be his son. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully he won't get mad at dad. Like, why'd you bring me into this? Oh, my God. I could have been somebody. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Hey, Michael, thanks for everything. Yeah, thank you very Appreciate much. It. Thanks for awesome. having me. Awesome. You're watching okay. us live. SCV, thank you very much.